First, I'd like to thank David and the Tomes Committee uh, for this wonderful occasion. Um, it's an honor to be included with all the former McMinnville High athletes and those who came and played with me or those who were before me and after. Uh, it really truly is an honor. It's one I will always remember. When I first came to McMinnville, I had some reservations. I said, here I'm coming to a new new city, new school. What's going to happen? Am I going to make new friends? What, what can I expect? And it just happened that we moved into a home for a short time that was right across the street from a young fellow. I thought was about my age. And I went out to meet him, and it was Laurel Adams. And through him then, David Sears was just a few blocks away, and a good friend, Vern Duncan, was just around the corner. And they took me in their arms, and I spent the summer just getting acquainted with the city and meeting some of their friends. And then uh, football practice would start, and just added to that group of friends that I was able to establish. Uh, there were certainly uh, at that time um, a lot of people playing all the sports. I certainly remember, you know, and we were able to play each season, whatever season was on at that time. It would be football, quickly followed by basketball, baseball, track. We didn't have to concentrate on one sport as many do today, but certainly found tonight that McMinnville has, has multiple, multiple athletes in many sports. Uh, I count myself very fortunate to have had excellent mentors and coaches at McMinnville who expanded us and taught us not only the skills of a particular sport, but also the character building that was serviced well beyond our high school years. It's not just statistics that I remember from those days, the, how many times you carried a ball or how many yards or how many points you scored in basketball or what your batting average might have been. I really just remember all the friendships that were made through athletics and sports. And it's one that uh, I will always remember. So I'd like to thank the group for acknowledging this tonight and uh, thank you.